Welcome back lovely souls. Before I started this video, this is what I just heard. Letting go, growing, flowing, and soaring, baby. Time to fly hot. Welcome to another video. I got some informative information for you today. This information is connected to today's 111 full moon self trust confidence new beginnings it's here baby on january 9th it equaled up to the number nine which is completion and ending so that new beginning is right right now lovely souls although it may not feel quite like that although you're starting to feel free as you are releasing and letting go and should i say you starting to feel lighter is the word that i am looking for i also heard while ago that Someone out there needs to be heard and I was I was told to tell you to create a platform and speak and connect out worldwide to like minds get on your platform and begin to speak about your journey that's a message for someone out there I also am encouraged to let you know for some of you who resonates with this whatever has been happening through you through these challenging times that we have been experiencing lately moving through these energies whatever has been happening through you is what is is, is what you're letting go of it is a, a end of a, a old chapter so that is a message for someone out there it's been happening through you you might have been feeling a bit confused you may have not had the clarity jet clarity just yet so let me know down below in the comment section if that resonates to me if you have received the clarity or this is your clarity okay also pcm intuitive reading my coaching program i have designed it to be tailored to you right to whoever decides to uh sign up by filling the application down below in the description area i have updated my program to i will I create uh, a program uh, tailored to you and your needs to help you meet your goals okay and also piece of intuitive readings is open for bookings with that being said before we go into it today i want you to just close your eyes for a moment and i want to get you, want you to get your left hand and put it over your heart and i want you to get your right hand and put it over top of your hand and i just want you to take a deep breath in and out One more time. In. And out. As your eyes are still closed, I want you to say this. I now release everything holding me back from receiving more love, more abundance, more joy in my life now. I am open. I am worthy. And I am loved. You can pause the video and you can do this three times a day. Be ready because it's powerful. Things I heard will be showing up in your way. They will start to flow through you to show you what is matching what you're saying that needs to be let go of that could be blocking you or in your way. Okay. So I do want to go ahead and get into this channel message that I did receive. You are probably starting to receive. You're probably starting to yeah, receive as well. Lovely. So, cause I was at the tip of my tongue. It wants to come out. You are ready to receive. How many right now are realizing that another manifestation has entered your life right now? Something you've been wanting for some time. Now you've worked to this place right now. And you're standing in the life of your dreams. If that's resonating with you, right now lovely so i want you to use this affirmation as well i am standing i am living the life of my dreams nothing is impossible when i believe i want you to say that to yourself over and over again and i want you to also whoever needs this my inner being guides me to abundance trust your intuition lovely soul now let's get up into it you are probably starting to realize how important it is to take care of you and to take care of your body, not a doctor disclaimer, disclaimer, but you are being shown this, how important your body is, which is the vessel. You take care of your body. And it will take care of you. All of our ultimate purpose here is to be the vessel, the source, the bridge, the rainbow bridge is what I like to call it, which you already are. And you're learning and remembering how to do this as well as them, as this importance of doing so be patient is what I heard. Time will tell it will flow to you message. You also have a personal purpose to release the old and rise into your power as a conscious creator, a human being filled with light connected to authentic spirit, to source. You have all you need inside you. 
What no longer serves your growth? Releasing old paradigms. Manipulation, fear, doubt. You are moving beyond your ego mind. You have learned those lessons. That is the message that came through today. Let me go ahead and get you a card before I give you the rest of the message today. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you some clues for this new moon, baby. What's up? How you doing? I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. How y'all doing today? Man, some cards fell out. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? You may also feel a bit exhausted because I do, because of what you're letting go off, right? You may not have any slept last night. I do want to share my dream real quick with you all. I'm not going to go into detail with it, but long story short, I woke up like, where am I? I didn't even realize where I was. It took, it had, took me a little bit to come back to my center, to get grounded. And I just very much can feel as if my dream was so, so real. And it wasn't me, but I was looking at a woman in my dream. Come to find out it was me in my past life, which showed me what happened to me, which also I've had many other thing, visions and daydreams of th- other parts of my past lives because we have had many lives, believe it or not. But this dream showed me uh, a past life where I would had many trust issues that I had brought along into this life. And I'm also being guided to say, do you know that we exist? Uh, there's like parallel realities is exactly what's coming through, right? So you're also healing that as well. So in that dream, it was me and I saw what happened to me and it, it helped me realize why I had trust issues and stuff like that in my life. So yes, um, do get you a dream journal and document your dreams. You'll begin, begin to put together things that happen in your dreams when you, if you don't understand them right away, I did not at first, right now it's just, it starts to become more clear and I get the inner guidance. Uh, and the clarity over it after I journal it, it all starts to make sense to me. So do get your dream journal is also a message for you who resonate with this message because some of you are receiving your messages, a lot of your downloads through your dreams. Okay, lovely souls. One card, spirit, one card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much and I love you. One card, spirit for these lovely souls here today. What message in this deck do you have for them? Stay in the flow, lovely soul. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon, right? Believe in the impossible. I don't believe that this full moon, I mean, this new moon today is a blue moon, but this is a blue moon card, right? And it says, believe in the impossible, lovely soul. You see it. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. See if any other messages here. Luck is on your side. Okay, this is a new moon card, but the new moon is in actually in Cap in Capricorn. It's not in Sagittarius, but it's saying to look, that luck is on your side, and nothing will come of this situation. So whoever that resonates to, nothing will come of this situation. It's speaking to your spirit. Things are coming up within you right now, giving you the clarity, put that over there, giving you the clarity to that message right there. Now let me give you a card out of here, the chakra deck, one card, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your divine guidance. One card, spirit, for these lovely souls here today. What is it that you most want to tell them today and they most need to know right now? I am actually here in 777 evolution and luck is on your side. Luck comes when you have been doing work, lovely soul. Sixth chakra, third eye chakra, inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing and I am at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence and I listen for the truth. I am open to connecting with and listening to my gut and my heart's feelings and I don't override them with the mind's logic. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation. Yet your mind, your logic mind has no idea what's what your heart feels. So it will try to make sense of what your heart is telling you. And that will only confuse you, lovely soul. So there it goes. Third eye chakra. I heard that many of you are having a third eye chakra awakening. Are you seeing the world a bit differently now? Hey, you can see it differently, huh? Because you're a warrior unconditional love. Many of you are starting to feel this as your heart are opening up, which is going to connect you to, uh, well, I say not connect, but attract in abundance and communication. So whoever just resonated when I begin the video on, when I said you want to be heard, communication is key. 
also you may be struggling with someone who may be of a lower vibe than you and uh, selfishness they may be being selfish and you may be trying to communicate with them but you're noticing they're not hearing you that also came through when i pulled the communication card we encourage you do not stay down float back up do not sink you know throughout your life you have been prone to negativity we all have we have been prone to negativity and problems and trauma and pain etc as well as well as allowing fears and doubts and struggles and insecurities to take us down literally knock us down right still our little joy at the moment right we just let it happen because we were unaware of what we are now discovering today literally to place you where it felt like you were just sinking and drowning, right? You were wondering why this occurs in your life. Why me? You might have questioned. You might have said, why me? Because we were unaware. And some may be unaware who are here today of your power. We be unaware that we exist not only in physical form, but also in spiritual form. That we are one with everything around us, including the divine. You are one with all. What's happening in your life is happening for you so that you can have the opportunity to release what no longer serves you like limitations, self-imposed beliefs, etc. right? That are not a part of who you truly are. I heard it was projected upon you. You were taught this. I heard you, were pick, you picked this up. It was a part of the program. It comes from your childhood, from your environment. But now your spiritual light and the light on the planet is supporting you. And as it enters your body, it loosens these things within you. And it begins to shake things up inside of you, breaking down what needs to fall apart within you. Do not be afraid of this for this is a shift occurring inside of you. You are experiencing a transformation. The planet is experiencing a transformation and this is key. The key is not to let yourself sink and feel as if you're drowning. Learn to let go and float back up to the top and flow. Okay. You hear? practice this daily. Every time you feel like you are being taken under by negativity or by any of these things described or by anyone or anything, let go, release and float back up. Do not stay down. Do not sink and drown. You are actually learning this in your life right now. I heard you are the alchemist. You are supported and you are loved. And I'm, I'm feeling you manipulate energy, learn to manipulate the energy. Okay, I thought something else was coming through. Okay, it's not nothing else coming through. You are supported and you are loved. Use your power. This will help you no matter what things will occur in life, but it's all for you. No energy that comes your way is not for you. It's all for you. And when you realize this, you'll be able to accept and find the lessons and see the lessons and what comes in your life so that you can see what's there for you. See what this trying to teach you. Y'all know how it be. So it's totally up to you to learn and to know what to do about the things that are in your control, because there are things that you can't control. I heard steer your life in the right direction. Dream big right now and be easy on yourself. You are learning new lessons. You're learning how to be you and you're learning how to work through the energies daily, release your emotions daily and keep your center and your vessel clear lovely soul let me give you a healing card do stay tuned to the end because i'm going to give you some clues to take with you lovely soul let me get it right here it's already written down one card spirit for these lovely souls here as they are healing and releasing and letting go one healing card for these lovely souls what is it do they need to know most right now thank you thank you thank you you are protected you are safe and your goals and seeds that you are planning are protected. Gratitude, baby. 
I am aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts. Riches surround me, and I appreciate all that life brings me. Look, check it out. Check it out. I mean, did it tie together? Thank you, spirit. Spirit be in the building. You heard? Did it tie together? Look how beautiful that is. You know, see, like, it even matches my shirt, y'all. Look, check it out. 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 Okay? Check it out is so beautiful you know and it's definitely like close to my birthstone it's very very beautiful so it does remind me of love and it's like the sparkle i heard the sparkle in your eye you know i heard the glow that surrounds you okay okay lovely soul let me find out you are what the path to light baby the path to light the path that you on if this resonates with you the path that you are on right now is the path that you will be on the whole 2024 this is the path of your growth to to uh living your dream life and this is where all your new lessons will be you're gonna grow fully into this new you and create that's what i'm hearing Divine light, it shines within and all through you, baby. And me, look after you. Look after your body. Remember, it is uh, the vessel. Take care of it, lovely soul. And let's give your angel message, lovely soul. And do stay tuned, okay? So you can get these clues. I really want you to take these clues with you today as well. One card, one card, angels. Thank you so much, angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What angel message do you have for these lovely souls today here? What is it you most want to tell them right now? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Change is coming, baby. Ch major change. You're undergoing major change right now. Many of you are highly aware of this. Look at that. Ooh, mirror number, belief system. Go after what you want. Unique, destiny, inspiration, talent, gifts, appreciation, and gratitude. There you go again. I heard be proud of how far you come. We are so proud of you. You are loved and you are safe. You are blessed with talents and gifts. And hold on, they said, this says, you are blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say it? There it is. Check it out, baby. We up in her. They up in her, okay? Let's see if any sweat, swift action. If you've been seeing 808, 1919, karma, cycles, judgment, influence, power, change, rebirth. Okay, this swift action, wealth, empathy, promises, commitment, affection, inner strength, and auspicious outcomes. Next, advice, comfort, major change, individuality, independence. Y'all hear it? Hey, 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 I got it. But baby, check it out. Check it out. Personal power, material and spiritual abundance, wealth, resources, balance confidence material gain and epic romance let me find out let me find out this is so beautiful i told you it's just getting better okay so clues for the new moon today one 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 in cap capricorn the old paradigm is collapsing and there are energies here that want you to keep believing in the old yeah and make you think you're powerless you heard there is nothing to fear changes here lately you may have found it challenging to move through the energies that's changing after today new start fresh new energy set your goals focus block out distraction expansion release let go heal inspired action on things you've been putting off as well as new goals updating things and programs and businesses stuff you are updating in your life New, new you, growing and outgrowing, self-confidence, self-trust. You see it's one, one, one today. Commitment, get it organized, follow your heart, set your intentions, stay consistent, manifest, self-entrance, compassion for all, think of others, discipline and new areas. Y'all already see. Thank y'all so much for being here today. Happy new moon to you. Happy manifesting. I am so proud of you, baby. It is a new beginning. All love to you. I'm sending love your way. Do you feel the love coming through the screen right now? Okay. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritual. If you're an Instagrammer and if you ain't subscribed to the channel, but you're feeling the vibes, you open up to the real talk. Okay. I heard to the new, new. Okay. If it's new to you, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button and that bell.
bell if you like this video and it resonates to you and I spoke to your spirit, I spoke to your soul, you received your confirmation here today, hit that like button, baby, so we can get this message out to more lovely souls like yourself, as well as don't forget to share the video, okay? I kindly appreciate you all. Thank you for sharing your valuable time here with me. Don't sink. Flow, baby. Always rise back up to the top. Until next time, one love. Peace, love, and light to you.